Hello, everyone. Oh, and I'm the Nune. Yes, welcome uh, to Tuesday. And you might be like, um, the thumbnail showed that this is a thrift with us at the bins. And it is. We just totally forgot promise. to do an intro for this, like, at the bins or on the way to the bins or anything. Full disclosure, I forgot. Yes. I was the one that was reminded, and then I forgot, unfortunately. So, so. that's what today's video is. This is a <laughs> bins thrift with us at the bins. Mm -hmm. Footage from the bins, like usual, voiceover, yes. vlog style, whatever. Some so, fun. we are just going to jump right into that because you're not here to watch us sit and talk. So, no. let's... Happy Tuesday, and let's get into the bins. Let's get into the bins. The first thing I see in the first bin that I look at is this giant horse on this towel staring at me. And actually, it was vintage Hermes. No, I'm just kidding. It absolutely was not. This is like the second thing I looked at and the first thing I put in my cart. I'm blown away. I cannot believe I found this. This is like the Isabel Morant sweatshirt everyone wants. This was so cute. It's Hannah Anderson and Where the Wild Things Are. I wish it didn't have so many stains. Thought this vintage Jane Jetson plushie was really cute, which it is Jane, right? I'm actually so excited about this find. This is my favorite piece by J. Crew to sell. It is the sweater cardigan blazer. They do so well in any color, with any label in them. It may just be a t-shirt, but I will take any Johnny Was I can find at the bins. I'm actually so pumped to find this. I saw this Todd's bag, and I have a feeling it's fake, so I skipped it. Even if it wasn't fake, it was in horrible condition and was super cheapy feeling. First thing I found in the bin was actually a bag of little doll clothes, and I was able to rescue these couple of American Girl doll pieces. Lori Wards Boston found literally the encyclopedia of American Girl doll stuff, so I texted her a couple of pictures. She told me the exact line they were from, which was super helpful. So that was amazing. And then in terms of clothing, I did find this single Sorel shoe. It's kind of beat up though. Like it's not my favorite. So if I find the other one, I don't really know what I'm going to do. Found this really cute dance go. I absolutely love these vibrant floral patterns. This other really cute floral abstract dance go. Both of these are the same size. So I'm going to safely assume they were donated by the same person. Just a really nice pair of shoes. This pair of Kate Spade heels had definitely seen better days in terms of wear and style. It kind of pains me to not get a pair of Kate Spade shoes in the bins, but they weren't my favorite. I did have this one Allbird though that was a men's like 15. It was a huge shoe, but it had gum all over the bottom, so I did pass on that. Super cute Wild Fable Target sweater. This kind of trendier like Target stuff I got to take to the consignment stores because they always love it. This really fun vintage plaid Oscar de la Renta sport sweater. The plaid material just needed to be depilled a little bit, which I didn't really think anything of. And then this ALC. I've been on an ALC kick the past couple of bench drives for that really cute little tank top. Just a ton of other stuff to take to the consignment store. Nothing really spectacular. These are for Debbie. This really cute pair of Nine West loafers. These are very Debbie, very glittery, very gaudy. As she says, I love bling. And that's exactly what these are. This next item is actually one of the first clothing pieces I ended up finding. It's this really amazing pair of goldenrod free people, size medium, amazing velour, flowy wide leg pants. These were absolutely the moment. And well, look at here, I got me a Lululemon. Um, these leggings were actually folded up like this when I found them, which was super exciting. So which means they're a raw donation. So I'm definitely gonna have to keep digging through this bin to see if I can find any more. This colorway I think is super cute. Then right under those, I ended up finding so many of these little like bachelorette party Bailey's tea towels. I looked these up to see if they were worth anything and they were not, unfortunately. This Sonia Raquel little washcloth is definitely so cute. I washed it. Nobody be afraid. I am going to keep this for myself. I love it so much. I love the colors. I love the logo. This Stay Abound sweatshirt, I definitely thought it could be. Stay ahead. Not Stay Abound. My gosh, I wish I could read today. I definitely really wanted to keep for myself. I thought it was so cute. I love this color. The embroidery was super nice. It was just a sport tech sweatshirt, so I didn't know if it was like from an event, from a team or something, and there was no other insignia on it, but it was just so cute. So this dress brand, or this kind of like fast fashion clothing company, Pretty Little Thing, is definitely something I keep my eye out for whenever I'm taking things to the consignment store. It's super trendy, it's super inexpensive, new, but consignment stores definitely mark it up all the time. This one was definitely just way too stained, but that brand is a most of the time I pick up. Same with Princess Polly. They kind of exist in that same realm of like very sheeny, like very cheap clothing, but they do very well at consignment stores. Somebody rang the Depop bell because this BB little mock neck shirt is so Depop, I 100% couldn't leave this behind. Oh. 
perfect example of how people at our bin seem to just skip really good bags. This has been sitting in this bin for so long and I've been eyeing it and I finally got over to pick it up and it's a Kate Spade Tweed mini backpack. Picking up some more horse vibes. I saw these pants had some suspenders on them and I was so hoping it would be Trafalgar. And sure enough, they are. The Real World takes this brand and it's like the primo brand in suspenders, I guess. My third time ever finding figs, and for once it's not pants. I wonder how this Athleta got here. Um, maybe because it was $25 at Goodwill. Also, y'all, it was broken. The zipper didn't work. We got a code orange on our hands. This is quite possibly one of my favorite bins finds from the day. It is this distressed, tattered, little mint-colored sweater, and it is by Wild Fox. I absolutely love finding Wild Fox knitwear. Their t-shirts don't really do that good for me unless it's like a rare phrase or saying or graphic, but the sweaters and the knitwear do very, very well for me, so I was super excited to find that. This is another example of something that I would take to the consignment store. This kind of like trendy little cheruby, like Victorian print does very well there. People really love them. The mesh shirt is a super popular trend still. And it's just like lightweight, so a couple bucks. This dress brand is definitely a bolo. This style is a little bit older, so I will be sending this one into the real real. The brand is Jenny Yu Collection. Just Jenny Yu also is an amazing dress brand to pick up. She's very bridal, kind of in the same vein as Vera Wang of these like modern, really elegant bridal wedding attire, so I definitely was super excited to pick that up. Then I ended up finding a few more Lululemon pieces. Actually, the tank top came from the same bin as those blue leggings from earlier. I went back and dug through it just to be safe, and I did end up finding a few more pieces. So this was super fun. I found a little Brandy Melville piece for my sister that she's probably gonna really enjoy. Okay, so this kind of gets my goat, to be completely honest. Why would somebody donate so many fabric scraps? And why wouldn't Goodwill just throw these away? Okay, so update, I did end up finding the other Sorel boot. This one is in very similar condition to the other one, which just isn't my favorite, so I may kind of give those up. This is an Urban Outfitter sweater. It's really, really cute. I love the little, like, flared sleeve design with this really fun little peplum, but unfortunately, I think the black is just a little bit too washed, so that ended up going back. These, though, I definitely am going to take to the consignment store. This is the newer American Eagle label. I know I've talked about it a couple of times when we've done the bins, Thrift With Us, but there's a date code, and most consignment stores only take things that are from the previous two years. This pair of jeans literally is going to be so amazing. This puts a pair of American Apparel jeans in my size, size 31. They are this black, tapered, raw hem pair of jeans. I literally could not be more excited to have found these. On our second trip to the bins, this was my first find of the day, this really pretty anthropology open fringe cardigan. I love it. Here is a new camera angle that I thought I would try out. It kind of is doing what I wanted it to do. So this is just me picking through this bin and I kind of pick up some things that maybe caught my attention or I show you guys some of the brands that I'm seeing. I don't think that this bin like delivered a ton of really good stuff or anything, but I just set my phone up on the like baby carrier part of the cart and I think this works pretty well. If you guys have any angles or any ideas for how we can like better show you what we are seeing in the bins or anything please let us know so i grabbed that vintage blazer i was just kind of tossing around and i really wanted to grab this vintage card again it is just such a cute like print and cute color the window pane is so nice but it was vintage talbot's label which i just kind of feared i wouldn't have much luck with so i did skip it and I thought that pillow would maybe be like from home goods or be something kind of pricey, but there is no labels on it whatsoever. You guys are already probably starting to notice that a lot of things I'm picking up are pretty fall centric. I'm really getting into the fall mindset myself personally, but also for reselling because I feel like fashion's always like a step ahead or a season ahead and we just got through like 4th of July season, which is really when I feel like stores and people's minds start honing in on fall. So I am trying to pick up fall stuff for local consignment stores and I'm also trying to pick up 
fall stuff from my own closet. So this is a leather jacket I'm holding and you saw that I grabbed some blazers and I grabbed that leopard sweater to bring to a consignment store, so yeah. Here's a look at that blazer that I grabbed. It's Alfred Dunner, but I think the colors and pattern is so cute, so I'm just gonna sell it as vintage. Clearly everyone's in fall prep mode because this whole row of bins was just full of coats, a lot of older coats, so I have a feeling that the Goodwill locations are going through their leftover coats and getting rid of ones that they don't really wanna sell. Another vintage coat, I have no idea what brand this was because there was no label in it, but it had these fun like horse bit details. It almost seemed like it was trying to be Gucci-esque, but yeah, I like the horse bit. I know these are just LuLaRoe, but I'm definitely grabbing them for Debbie. And if she didn't wear them, I would literally probably try to sell them myself just because I'm just such a sucker for the spooky stuff. Hey, look, it's that chaser thermal we've all seen 10 quadrillion times. You always think you've seen every The Mountain t-shirt and then you see a new one that you've never seen before. I've never seen the monkey one. This is another brand that I really love taking to the consignment store. I know some people really can't tell what it is based off the label, but this is Misguided. It's another one of those like really chintzy, kind of like really trendy online boutiques that is everywhere. And I love taking their stuff to like Plato's Closet, for example, because they definitely price it up because it is really trendy, but I would never pay the six dollars for this out of store. And here is my biggest bins tragedy for the day of this beautiful 1960s, 1970s mint little lingerie piece. These are so popular, they're so cute. I love the little baby doll style at the top, but unfortunately the seam was literally shot. The thread was like actually dissolving. But look at how glamorous this is. Like if somebody wore this, they could just float around the house. It is stunning and depressing. This champion hoodie is another example of something that I would really love to take to Plato's Closet if it was in better condition. Champion, I think, is a brand that definitely has kind of like cooled off in the past couple years from what it used to be. But Plato's Closets and other consignment stores really, really, really love it. So this is funny because this literally sold a couple of days ago. So I bought this Coca-Cola t-shirt to be like a fun little Depop moment. It was like dead stock from the early 2000s new tags. I thought it was so funny that it was this like glittery Disney print so that has sold on Depop. This Walt Disney sweatshirt, I own one. I absolutely love it. They are currently in the parks right now for $90 and I am going to try to do my best to get that stain out. I must have been living under a rock because I completely missed the Supreme Fortnite collab. How could I? So this was very exciting. So this was in a newer switch out where I was definitely not the first person to get to the bin, but like definitely there have been a couple of people before me and I found this Coach Poppy really pretty navy blue trench coat. It has the matching belt, which is super nice. I loved this like blue patent leather buckle detail. It was actually in really good condition. Just needed a little bit of freshening up. I shockingly do not find a ton of Aritzia thrifting in general. I really don't know why because Aritzia is so popular in the Twin Cities, but I was so excited to find this pair of Wilford pants. They are so cute. Okay, this is gonna go home with me and this is going to be mine. Not for sale. Don't even ask. She's mine. I'm gonna tie dye it. I think my cards are a really good depiction of where my head's at right now. I was just digging, minding my own business, and suddenly I look up and it almost looks like Mike is just staring right at me. <laughs> Another vintage coat. This is actually a wool and cashmere blend. I almost want to keep it myself, but I am going to sell it. Just so you guys know, this is a bolo brand. It's called Nadam. Soft by Nadam I think is QVC, but Nadam itself is a bolo. It's expensive. This is a tough pill to swallow. These Prada shoes, I only found one of. This Vionic sandal, I only found one of. This Sandro boot, I only found one of. Oh, but unfortunately we are not done yet. This Bottega Veneta heel, I only found one of. 
And this Tory Burch, I only had one of for the longest time, but I did find its match, thank goodness. These are Robert Clergy, not these, this, because I only have one of that as well. But I did find a really, really, really nice bag, so I'm not gonna show you yet, but just wait till the haul. Now you can't have a Ben's trip without finding yourself a Lulu lamb in. Laura Ingalls Wilder haunts me wherever I go. I'm gonna be completely honest, I was super torn on this dress. I absolutely love the print. I think the cherry blossoms are beautiful. I think it was made really well. This would do so good on Depop, but my slip dresses just haven't been doing as well for me in the past. I totally would have gotten this adorable little Ralph Lauren sweater if it wasn't so shrunk. I was super excited when I ended up getting these Levi's. I was the second person to this bins rotation and I could see the patch sticking out of the back corner and I was super excited when the guy in front of me didn't pick them up because I was more than happy to scoop up a good old pair of 721s. These red clogs are literally so cute. They're just the gap, but they're definitely like super good quality. I love the red suede, the wood seems like it's super nice, so these definitely, I'm probably not going to sell for a ton, but like I'm super excited to sell them still. They're so cute. So here is the current state of things after a very amazing switch out. That t-shirt that I just showed was a well-worn t-shirt, unfortunately that brand isn't worth anything. I'm thinking of well done or well made, it's a really expensive t-shirt brand. I found a Giorgio Armani pinstripe suit set that is going straight to the real real. This was an amazing find. I had never found this brand in the bins before and watch me struggle with this tag because it's a little painful because it's really wrapped up in these little straps. It's called Sailor. Huge bolo. So amazing. I have four or five pairs of kids Patagonia shorts. I have a Patagonia cinchilla. That cheetah moment is J. Crew. So that last clip was the first half of the bin, this is the second half. There's one, two, three, four, probably five or six pairs of Lululemon leggings, a really nice newer aloe camo sports bra. There was so much good athletic in this bin. This is a new Attack Columbia fleece that I'm going to give to Debbie to sell. I have so many intimately free people pieces. This is an amazing Nike, really cute floral printed mini dress that I literally cannot wait to sell. It's so cute. So I think you briefly saw the sleeve of this really amazing J. Crew leopard or cheetah, I'm not 100% sure which, jacket when I pulled it out of the bin, but this is literally such an amazing piece. It's in such amazing condition as well. Please pardon my sorting sheet on the ground, but I did strike gold with some handbags, a couple of coach wallets, a little mini coach bag. This Michael Kors backpack is going to go to Debbie to sell. This really nice black coach wristlet is going to go to Debbie along with this Kate Spade bag. This Kate Spade bag, I am going to be selling myself just because it's a newer style, and I think the leather conditioner is going to take those marks right off the bottom. This beautiful pink coach bag, I sold in a different color. This Leapskind Birkin, Leapskind is an amazing German leather brand. They sell very well for me, and I was super excited to find the bins. Of course, I also have some Athleta, because you can't go to the bins without Athleta. So why don't you guys join me in digging for a little bit? This was a bin that had a lot of jeans, and a lot of the jeans I find at the bins seem to be vintage men's jeans that are like really large sizes, so I end up skipping a lot of them. Kind of like with ties, I always check all the scarves too for logos because you never know when it's going to be like a Burberry scarf or something. So this plaid one I think ended up being just like Morona or something. This I had no clue what it was and I threw it to a vintage person in case they wanted it and he didn't even want it so it must not be that good. Oh you guys know I freaking love this. This is like a vintage rock and roll skeleton hands studded spiked tank. These Pilcro jeans are so cute, and I definitely grabbed them, but they had this really strange feeling to them. Luckily, I have washed them since then, and they feel better now, but it was kind of weird. This is the exact Barney plush that I carried around for my young years. I was attached at the hip to it. Get out those bolo notebooks because this is definitely a bolo. It's called Alpenrock. I have found it once as a thermal, but I'm super excited to find a puffer from them. 
I have now moved on to my sorting. I have many different piles. I have real real, things for Debbie, things for consigning, things for me, things for selling, things for everywhere. So here's a fun bins moment. I was able to find a Canon digital camera. This is a Rebel. I think it's an XT. I used to have a T5, if you're familiar with cameras. Digital cameras are super expensive, but I need to find a battery charger to see if this is gonna work. Thankfully, I was able to hit another amazing switch out. This is a pair of really beautiful, kind of like Baroque damask anthropology pants. The brand is Current Air. I love the colors in these. They're just so perfect for fall. I think they'd also be really good for spring and summer. The floral is also amazing. This pair of like jacquard, metallic-y looking trouser pants are literally giving me everything. They're the anthropology trouser and they're a tall size, which I'm very, very, very excited about. I just think they're so pretty. Here's the sourcing moment. This is definitely the messiest part of the bins by far. So this was just a really cute little button down. I was hoping it'd maybe be a J Crew, but unfortunately it's Crew Cuts, the kids line. I didn't end up picking it up just to do some wash wear, but how cute is that little embroidery? I remember when I was a child and this was the most majestical magic thing I had ever seen in my entire life. This is why being a good person at the bins and being a kind human being pays off. One of the vintage guys that beat me to a bin switch out threw me this Patagonia Cinchilla vest and this Patagonia t-shirt. Okay, so this is what was left after my vintage friend got out of the bin. I found this pair of Madewell jeans. They're men's. I definitely am gonna take them home and see if they're gonna fit. This new tag JJ sweater is most likely gonna end up going to a consignment store. I know some people can have good luck with J. Jill. I'm not one of them. This Madewell size medium long sleeve t-shirt is probably gonna stay with me. I think it's super cute. I think it's super good for school. And this Fair Isle polo sweater is perfect for fall. This is a perfect Depop find. Look at how small this mini skirt is compared to my hand. I'm absolutely gonna put this on Depop. I do not remember the name of the brand, but it is so funny, especially with these little rosettes on it. And this is why it's important to dig in the bottom of a bin. I had been in this bin so many times. I had seen other people throw stuff back in it. But I found this really amazing by Anthropology Snap cardigan shawl, which is so cute and so perfect for the upcoming fall season. One more bins switch out. This Brandy Melville cardigan actually ended up going to my sister for her birthday. She is a very big fan of Brandy. I just gave it a wash, spruced it up a little bit, and she loved it. This is a really cute Urban Outfitters bucket hat. I low-key really want to keep this for myself because I think the flowers are adorable, and I absolutely love it. And then this final piece is an Unreal Fur, which is a very expensive faux fur brand. And Jack was so kind as to bring me a puzzle. All righty, oh. tidy lefty Lucy. We're done with that now. That was amazing. <laughs> so welcome back to us sitting on the floor. We also, if you remember the beginning, oh so 23 minutes ago, we forgot to do an outro too. Oop. So <laughs> here we are. Us, we're back and we're on the floor. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching us thrift at the bins. I you might bins. be thinking, I probably should have said this in the intro, but I forgot to. Wow, shocker, us forgetting things. You might be thinking, hmm, we've seen half of that stuff before in a haul last week and some of it looked new. That's because we actually be filmed correct. that bin thrift with us over two separate bins trips. And one of it is stuff that you guys have seen and one of it is completely brand new stuff that is actually coming up in the hall that's coming on Thursday. Yes, there's a lot of moving pieces. Yes. Some of it was last week, some of it is next week. So no, week. you have not seen that footage before. I mean, now you have, mm -hmm. but before today, we just filmed a haul of stuff that went up before the thrift with us. So it's all confusing. I hope you guys have a good rest of your Tuesday and we will see you guys on Thursday to show off the rest of the bin stuff that we found at the latter half of the video. And then actually on Saturday, we will have a part two to that haul because we are gone this week. That's why everything's all messed up. We're gone this whole week that you're seeing this. We're on a family vacation. I'm just not gonna be here this summer at all. <laughs> <laughs> this, so this is like pre-recorded. The Thrift With Us was pre-recorded. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's gonna be a two-part haul, but the two parts are gonna be Thursday and Saturday. So no What's Old Saturday this week. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it wouldn't be that impressive anyway. It's okay. No, it really wouldn't be. So we will see you guys on Thursday to show you guys what we found at the bins, probably in the same outfit. Yep. And then we will see you guys on Saturday to show you the rest of the stuff that we found at the bins. And then things- Definitely the same outfit. Then 
things should possibly finally go back to a regular scheduled uh, program. Yes, they will. So we will see you on Thursday. Yes. Goodbye. Bye.